Um, I had, I did a police report while I was in, um, detained on false pretenses with Parkland police. Okay. And it disappeared. Your property? The, my property disappeared as well. And the police report disappeared. And one for November 18th, uh, 2018, when I was detained on false pretenses, that disappeared. November 2018. So I wanted to, I'm sorry. Were you wanting a copy of it? No, I wanted to know why they're disappearing. Can you look into the, my reports and see if they're still, um, if they're still missing? We don't delete cases. Well, they disappeared. So I want want to, I'd like to know if you could find it. Can I give you my information? Yeah, how do you know it disappeared? Because I was told it was disappeared. It disappeared when I tried to get the status and inform them when they detained me on false pretenses that um, I tried to give them an update for investigation that they denied that the reports that I was making was true and they wouldn't accept it. Okay. But I just want to and see this, what. This was four years ago. The first time I was, well, they detained me November 2018. They said that di that disappeared and they didn't detain me, which they did. Do you show that I was detained? Can I give you my information? What's your name? It's Kiana, K-E-Y-A-N-A. -A. That's your first name? Yes. What's your last name? Clark, C-L-A-R-K. about so I can get you to the detective. Um, for November 2018? Do you see where I was detained? Yes. Okay, so you do show I was detained? Yes, nothing gets deleted. Everything is still here. Well, they, I, they told me that they didn't see it in their records when I came in person. Okay, so you do show where I was detained. They told me in person that they I did not pass the screening and they let me go, which was not true. I was detained. Okay, so I did another report. Um, do, let me give you the report number. 2102500 for being railroaded and multiple parties lie and slander and falsify information to sabotage my rights. So how can I help you today? What, what are you needing to get done today? Well, I thought these were crimes that I'm reporting to you. I'd like to know my rights for uh, starters. If multiple parties are slying and slandering me to, um, in order to take away my rights, isn't that reportable to the police? Or we get your supervisor. Hold on a second. Okay, thank you. Yes, um, may I have, yes. have um, I recorded my calls. May I have your name? Sergeant Nancy. Okay, and may I have your um, I, um, badge three, number? Three two two three three. Okay. Yes, I have been having some issues with um things that I'm reporting not being placed in the reports for some reason. I reported April. Uh, I think it was May of 2021 that some uh, someone made false statements. I was rushed by the police, handcuffed, and detained on false pretenses. I reported that, and there was sabotage information in the police reports that I made. I, the report number I was given was 2102500. Okay. Do you see that report? You said 2102 what? Five zero zero. Okay. Do you see that report? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What do, does it state that I was held on false pretenses at um, Parkland Hospital? Okay. I can't go over this report with you over the phone, ma'am. Okay. So. Because I, because I, I don't know who I'm speaking with over the phone, and I can't talk about a report over the phone. If you want to talk about this report, you can come into the PD. So at that point in time, once I identify, we can discuss 
the issues you have with this report. Well, if there is a report done, when does an investigator call? Would that be uh, that be up to the investigator? Um, Years later, if one, if one needs to be called, if somebody needs to be called, they will con- contact. Them. My they freedom is taken called. away on false pretenses, and it's, it, it should that be ignored? If someone lied and slandered, and I've reported multiple times that I get slandered, and my freedom and rights are taken away a multitude of times, um, they no investigator ma'am, gets called for that, ma'am. I'm not understanding why you're getting stern with me and my freedom was taken away. If you have an issue, I would would suggest you come into the PD so we can sit down and discuss that. Okay, so you're saying that we can't discuss over the phone uh, because here's the thing, when I come in person, I get slandered, mistreated for some reason by the police department, which is what I'm trying to get resolved over the phone. Why would they lie, slander me, detain me, and mistreat me? Multiple different police departments. That's why, because I'm not safe going to the police department. I I was detained multiple times. I was detained 2018, and then I was detained um, April 26th of 2021. And those are just some of the times I was detained. So I'm not safe going into police departments with this chaos going on until someone intervenes. So, but what I'm trying to get... Because we're over the phone, I am limited what I can do. Okay, well, I do have um, ID. I have ID. I can give you uh, my ID information. Ma'am, I cannot do anything over the phone. Okay, so I come in in person and you can let me know what's going on with that police report number. But I mean, isn't it something of, um, I should have got a call from an investigator over almost a year ago. Man, so I that gives me an idea. I can't speak on that. All I can speak on is the here and now. If you have a concern, you come into the PD so we can get somebody to address that concern. Okay, well, I guess will I be safe? Because I get slandered a lot yes, by police. Ma'am. I haven't been. I have multiple false arrests. That have been I ignored. Can't tell you about anything about the past. I'm just talking about the here and now. Well, I mean, if that's happened in the past, what do I do? Because those are still crimes, even if it has been I, in the I, past. I am telling you, you come into our PD, so we can provide you with the assistance that you request. Okay, but I'm saying now, if my rights have been violated and I've been detained on false pretenses, and I'm scared, I don't trust the police because they've detained me and arrested me on false pretenses multiple times and lied and slandered me in the reports. What do I do about that? You don't need ID to tell me that. Or you don't need to um, know who I am. That's a right that uh, citizens have, the ed- that education. So where do I go? Are you You're calling the police. Now, if you want further legal advice, I would tell you to use your attorney. But I, I, I cannot provide you with that. All I can tell you, if you have a concern about the report that was filed here, you come into our police department so we can discuss that. Okay, so you're, I'm sorry, what's your position? My name is Sergeant Yancey. I'm, I'm a uh, supervisor here at the PD. Okay, and I'm telling you about um, misconduct with um, officers. And I want to know what to do when there's misconduct. Maybe I didn't express okay. that properly. Oh, okay. So what do once I do again, when there's misconduct with uh, your officers? Ma'am, once again have an issue. I'm asking you to come to the PD so we can sit down and discuss that issue. Okay, so I can't know that over the phone. I have to come in in person to find out what I do when there's misconduct. So when, you, when you call, you, you call in regards to a report. I'm, call, I'm asking you right now, uh, what I would I do if there's misconduct with your officers? What do I do? So you have an issue with one of our officers. Misconduct, there, yes. There's, there's several things going on here, so I'm trying to figure out what, what's your concern. I would like I, to know that, if there's been misconduct with multiple officers, where is that reported? If you have an issue with one of our officers here, you can tell me that. Okay, well, I did that but report what number. What, I, I did that report number. Okay, I did that report number to let them know that I was on camera footage sitting down in a courtyard and I get slandered and multiple false arrests 
So the Salvation Army, some kind of mysterious staff called in and I was detained. I had a lot going on that week. I was supposed to get an apartment, a whole bunch of okay. different things. I'm, I'm just giving you evidence. I thought that tampering with evidence was a felony. Ma'am. Ma'am. Listen to me. So, so I'm just trying to establish that I, each time in my life when I'm trying to build my life back up, something happens to intervene in what my uh, me building my life back up. So what I was trying to establish is I had a lot going on that week, and police bombarded me and rushed me and took me off on false pretenses. I, I'm not if I'm not able to communicate the situation, I don't know how we're going to get it resolved. Exactly, we're not going to get this resolved because we're talking over each other. I don't. I'm I not think that that's. To you what you, I'm you, trying to explain to you what, you, what needs to happen. You asked me you what happened, and I communicated so, that to you, and then you said we were talking over each have other. You already, have you already? Okay, so what I can't tell you what happened like you asked me to do? Well, I'm trying to figure out is this something that you already reported or is this something new? Okay, I reported at the time if you would have let me finish talking, I would have been able to communicate that. But you were too busy interrupting me, telling me I was interrupting you. Once again, we're going back and forth. Right. But um, what I was so trying to express is that I, three officers rushed me when I had a lot going on that week and arrest, uh, detained me on false pretenses. What day and time was that? April 26th. I don't know the time of 2021. And did you file a report? About five time? something. I tried to. It disappeared. That's what this report was supposed to be. And those officers, was those the sheriff officers, were those the uh, Dallas County Hospital District Parkland officers, or were they DPD? I have what no clue. Did that? I have no clue what officers did it. That's why I'm trying to get a resolution now. I called um, Parkland Police and reported it with that police report number that I was getting framed and slandered. And okay. I wanted an so investigation because that's, that's a crime. Is what officers, cause I only deal with Parkland Police. Well, here's the thing, what I was trying to express earlier, Parkland police took that report number that I was being slandered by a multitude of people lying and slandering me to take my rights away. 2102500 was the false statement supposedly made by uh, Salvation Army staff. I don't think Salvation Army staff did it. I think I'm getting bullied and violated by the police department. And they're enlisting these businesses and people to cover up for their crimes. That's what I think is happening. You don't get all these criminal trespasses in the police department, tell people to give another party a criminal trespass, and then they blame it on the business. I think the police are interrupting me progressing in my life and blaming it on businesses. But in addition to that, uh, 2102500, I reported the false statements made supposedly by Salvation Army staff and the police um did not submit that report and didn't do a proper okay. investigation. And that was how so, that was Parkland Hospital Police. So Ms. Clark? Ms. Clark? Yes. We here at Parkland have nothing to do with the Salvation Army. Okay, so, if you, so with it, if you have a problem with the Salvation Army and what happened at the Salvation Army, you probably have to contact DP. Okay, so let me make sure. Not, oh. not Parkland. Okay, let me make sure I understand. So I reported it to Parkland Police and got that police report number. Correct. Okay. We, will not, we do not investigate Salvation Army incident. That would be uh, Dallas PD. So did it get referred over to Dallas PD through Parkland? We do not refer, we do not refer these type of uh, calls over to Dallas PD, no ma'am. You have to call and make that report yourself. Okay, well, I'm not safe making reports. So how, what do I do I, so when I get violated I, by the police department and they threaten me I, and lie and slander in reports? You Your officers also... The non-emergency number. I call the non-emergency number and they lie and say I call emergency numbers when I didn't. But what I'm saying is your police also lied and slandered me in the reports, saying that I was uh, reported that I was being forced to eat with a spoon. When I was reporting that it, when you're held um, past the 72-hour uh, hold, you were, I'm re giving you evidence. I'm giving you evidence of what your officers did and you're interrupting it again. That's tampering okay, with evidence, sir. Those are not our officers. It was your officers. I'm trying to communicate that with you. You're covering for it and tampering with evidence. 
Your officers no. put in their report that I was complaining about not eating with, um, being forced to eat with a spoon. I was not allowed my right to go to court, which is what I'm trying to tell you. When you're kept past a 72 hour hold, you are um, supposed to be able to go to court and present your case to a judge. And I was not uh, allowed that right. I was calling and reporting the corruption and trying to get um, what I was fighting for my life because I keep having multiple parties lie on me. The um, hospital took the phone out my room when I was making important phone calls, calling CPS and checking on my, um, the status of multiple different things that were going on in my life. And they took the phone out my room, so I couldn't do that. So I'm just not understanding why they uh, did not put place all of that evidence off in the report that I was making. And instead they wanted to put in there that I wanted to report that I was forced to eat with a spoon. That's tampering with evidence. And what about my same belongings that came up missing that still hasn't been recovered? My social security card, my ID, my money, my phone, with the footage of them rushing to me and handcuffing me on false pretenses. You there? Yes, ma'am. I'm listening to you talk. Okay, so where do I report these? In those, uh, isn't that criminal to tamper with evidence and put false information in reports? Your supervisor. What I'm telling you in regards to this report, in regards to this 21-02-500 that you say, you have an issue with this report right here. It's safe to come to the PD because it can be addressed. You have an issue with something else as far as the Salvation Army, we cannot do nothing with that. Okay, my question once again, if police are violating me and slying and slandering in reports, including your officers, where do I go to report that? Once again, if you feel like your treatment here, you report that to us here at the PD. I didn't understand where I would go. You can come to, if it's a Parkland issue, you can come to the Parkland Police Department and ask for a home duty supervisor. And then what do I do? That individual have you fill out a complaint. Okay, sir, I've been uh, doing complaint after complaint after complaint after complaint for years. And then, uh, and then what I get rewarded with is more slanders and more lies and more cover up for years, sir. I'm just spinning my wheels and hoping that one day I will have obtain enough evidence for this to end. Year after year after year, report after ignored report after ignored report after slander and crime after crime gets ignored. Okay, sir. Thank you.